special guest, funny as can be, and an amazing podcast, if that's any of an introduction. So what I chose to do today is keep it just mm -hmm. a little secret, little secret here. <laughs> so while I'm sipping on my tea, I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and wave, water. show some love, just so we know that you guys can hear us. So we're double streaming here, so we're double dipping, right? So anybody that's a fan of I Think I Love You will know exactly who this is. However, I'm going to let him introduce himself and let us know a fun fact about yourself. So, it's all yours, Carlos. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, my name is Lover Boy Los, a.k.a. Carlos, a.k.a. Mr. Podcaster himself on relationships and love. And fun fact about me is that I actually learned a lot from my podcast. And one thing is that I learned about sex toys. So, there you go. There That's you go. <laughs> Yes, and you learn so much more. So before we start, I want to just premise with a couple things, right? As I've mentioned before, I'm huge on mental health. And whenever I connect with somebody um, on any type of the subjects that I go ahead and I work on with different clients, different patients, coaching clients, whatever it may be, I love for them to have different resources. So if you or somebody you love you uh, feels that they could benefit from watching this, please feel free to share, right? So while I'm sipping on this, I want to give a quick shout out to my coworker that was so amazing and so kind to give me this amazing, beautiful cup. Look at that cup. Right? <laughs> Keeps me awake. So anywho, Carlos, tell mm -hmm. us a fun fact about yourself. What's a fun fact? A fun fact about me is that I'm actually part of the Big Brother program, so I like volunteering on my spare time. Mm -hmm. So there you guys, you guys should volunteer too, doing whatever. Can you tell us about that? Because I think it's something so special, especially as mm -hmm. a youthful man, that you do something that's humanitarian, but also it's fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. Uh, well, it's honestly like a priceless feeling because you don't really get to enjoy things like that if you spend money. It's more about putting in the effort, spending the time with the person, watching them develop, watching them grow. And it's such a feeling that you can't really explain too much. It's just like such a rewarding feeling that helps out people that, you know, are in need. And mm -hmm. some people don't always have that. And to volunteer and give your time, it means the world to them. I couldn't agree more. It's a beautiful thing. And whenever you can connect with children and really just make a, a positive yeah. influence on them, please do. So I know we said we were going to stream this at 1 o'clock, but you know we Latinos. Yeah. So we started a little late. later, right? A little late. It's all right. So we're on Latino time. So you guys, we're just on time. We're perfect, right? So I want to tell you guys, just to premise, we have two super fun activities for Carlos today, right? Yeah. So we have trivia for love. So at the beginning, I'm going to do a trivia for movies, and at the end, I'm going to do trivia for love and hip hop mm -hmm. and see how many he gets. So we all okay, know that go. the <laughs> best prize, right, is money. So as a prize, because I'm a therapist, right, I'm not going to whip out the Jacksons, but I got these babies right here. <laughs> so they might be yours, Carlos, if you get it right. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> all right. So to begin with, let's start with the trivia. And if you guys could help us out here in the audience, please let us know, all right? So I'm going to start with this, Carlos. Go ahead. Go ahead. Put your thinking hat on. And here's the options you have. Okay. If you pass, that's a negative. But we never oh. encourage you to pass on this, all right. right? We <laughs> encourage you to at least take a guess. Uh -huh. Or you could text a friend or phone a friend. But I guarantee you it always works like this. When that's involved, the friend is not available, right? Nope. That's right. They're okay. So let's get ready. So these are top five quotes from movies. And these are from love okay. movies because today we're going to talk about that, right? His podcast is full of so many great tips for relationships and just feedback in general. So the first one is, I'll never let go. Titanic? Yes! So he got it. He got it. So I'll we'll flash guess. these ones. We'll flash <laughs> these ones. Woo! There we yes. go. Keep All right. Strip club money. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. The if notebook? Bird, yes! You wow. got it. Dang! Look at you. I High was five. two guesses in a row. I've never seen these right. movies either. So we're going to make it rain again. We're going to make it rain. Yes. Right? Okay. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. <laughs> There you go. Turning a diamond to, into a dollar, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number three. You ready? You ready? Let's go. All right. You had me at hello. Oh, you I had me at I hello. I actually know this one, but 
completely blanking out. You oh, had me man. at hello. Come on, guys, and if you know it, go ahead, help him out, right? I oh, want him to get this. You had me at hello. You, you had, had me at Primo, hello. you know? <laughs> I don't think Primo knows. Come on, guys, uh, does anybody know here? Let's see, we got Rudy up in here. We got, let's see, Glow with the, you, yes, I please, go ahead, help Carlos out. So, you got 10 seconds. You got ten. one, two, I would just say... Three. Beauty and Five. the Beast. Eh, wrong. Jerry Maguire. Oh, I Jerry, wouldn't have guessed show that. Show me the money. Show me Would the money, not have right? Guessed that. Yes, <laughs> Jerry Maguire. All right, guys. So for those of you that are joining us right now, once again, we're playing love quote movie trivia Lincoln's with Carlos. In I like ah, that. Ah, close, close, right? <laughs> so we're doing one at the beginning and then one of, one at the end of the segment, right? We're gonna do love and hip hop at the end, and Carlos, he's gonna kill it. He's gonna yeah. get it, right? So once again, we're doing this because his podcast is amazing. So if you don't follow, if you don't listen, you need to. We're going to get into that, right? All right, you ready? Let's go. Number four, you make me want to be a better man. Ooh, that's, uh, I'm going to say. You make me want to be a better man. What movie is that? Come on, guys, help him out. When Harry met Sally? Uh, oh, no, man. close, though, as good as it gets. No, I wouldn't have guessed that either. <laughs> as good as it gets. That's a tough one. Yeah, Dang. so I threw some some good ones in there. All right, so last one. You ready? Mm hmm All right. Let's see here. How funny. I think I only wrote four. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, That's so, cool. That was only four. Hold on. Let's see. Bonus right. question. Right, bonus <laughs> question. Hold on. I got one, two, three. Four. Yeah, I only had four. How crazy. So the last one I'm going to mm -hmm. say is, let's see, if anybody's got one, I could use some help right now. I totally slipped. It's a Freudian slip. Anybody from a famous line from a love movie. A quote. Love. A quote, oh, right? Love. Yes. Um, All right, I'm going to throw one in. Okay. Kiss the girl. Oh, kiss the girl. This one. Repeat it over and over and over. Kiss the girl. Kiss uh, the girl. I actually know this one too. I forgot. Do you? Kiss the girl. Explore uh, your inner child. I know it's a Disney movie. Yes, it I know is it's a, Disney a Disney movie. movie. Come on, guys, help him out. Yes, uh, come on, go ahead, read it. Read Little it. Mermaid. Yes. Oh, like, like <laughs> That's exactly where it's from. All right, Carla. So. You got a whopping three bucks. I don't know yeah. right here in LA what you can get, but you can get half a cup of coffee. I can get I a think, taco. Right? <laughs> two for a dollar. Two yeah. for a dollar. So, all right, let's get into the real business of this. So once again, I provide this as a resource to others for mental health. Yeah. And I want to ask you just a little bit about as a creator and host of your podcast, mm -hmm. how did this all start? Where did it create from you? Because it seems like you created something that was painful into something productive. And that's yeah. a beautiful thing to be able to do that, right? So tell us about your podcast. Tell us what it's called, where they could listen to it, how you pick your guests, any of that. So my podcast is called I Think I Love You, and we mm -hmm. talk about relationships, love. We talk about anything that has to do with relationships because I went through a hard breakup, and I learned from a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I actually met you, and you taught me some things, too. Z, mm -hmm. yeah, and it, yeah. I told, he put me on first yeah. episode, first episode, there you go. And I told Z about my podcast, and mm -hmm. she was all like, why don't you do it now then? And I thought about it, and I said, you're right, why don't I start it? And now I've been interviewing people about their love, I've been interviewing about mm -hmm. people about going through divorce, been married for 27 years, people are young and dating in LA, people that are doing other things, so... The way I think of it is anyone, relationships are so unique to everyone, but we can all relate to it. Whether we're going through a breakup, when we're in a relationship, or when we're just dating around. So it doesn't matter what your status is. You can I have something for every single person. And it's a very fun podcast because my you know me, I'm a very chill guy. I like to have fun on here. It's not so serious, but we talk about serious topics. And we just make it light. And if you guys can follow it, it will mean so much. It's on Spotify. It's on mm -hmm. iTunes. I think I love you with Lover Boy Lowe's. It's basically anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Mm -hmm. And how I pick my guests is if you have something that you want to talk about relationships-wise, you can come on my show. 
like the yes, me I then I was yes. trying gas. Yes, he put me on a couple times. And when I was on there, I have to tell you, just the outreach alone of people mm -hmm. reaching out and saying, hey, you know, we learned so much about ourselves yeah. and how we attach to other people. So one of his first episodes that I was honored to be a guest on is on attachment and how the styles differ and why we tend to chase certain people that don't chase us back, right? Yeah. Isn't that the rule of thumb? We want somebody that doesn't yeah. want us and they love someone else, right? Me and my so, girlfriend were talking about that last time, yes, too. Yes, yeah. exactly. So um, we definitely have some viewers requesting to say the name again, please. So it's called I Think I Love You. Yes. With Lover Boy Loves. You don't have to put with Lover Boy Loves, but you'll see that I'm on there. So. Yeah, and I have to tell you guys, I have very limited time throughout my day, but this is something I definitely make room for. Everybody knows the 405 and the 101, it's yeah. horrific, right? <laughs> this is amazing. Like you just, you, you're just you laughing at the top of your lungs with some of the things that people say. Mm -hmm. And just even myself and working with relationships on a daily basis in the grind and the hustle of what it is I do to help others, I'm learning so much from the podcast. I'm learning that no relationship is perfect in any kind of sort of way. And even when you think that it might not work out magically out of like the nooks and crannies, yeah. it does, right? What are, what are the top three things you have learned from doing your podcast in regards to relationships? Probably my number one thing is, and it gets reiterated in almost every episode, is communication. Mm, there's a thought. Everything. Yes, yes. And I've actually been using it in my current relationship too. So mm -hmm. anytime you have a problem or anything that you want to do better or anything that you just want to talk about, don't hide it. Don't, because trust me, it's going to come up some other way. So you might as well yeah. just Be talk about honest. it. Be honest. I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. I still struggle with it sometimes, but. The more honest you are, the better relationship Bay, you're going to be. I ate the cereal. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry I ate the me. cereal. Yes. I forgot to take off the trash can. I forgot to do this. So it's like, oh, man. Yeah. And probably the other thing that's most important that I learned from a relationship mm -hmm. is that we all kind of go through the same things, too. Yeah. I thought when I was going through my breakup, and they're like, man, like, why is this, like, so hard? Like, man, I must be, like, the only one that's felt like this. But hearing other yeah. people tell their stories, man, some of them have been through worse or some of them have been had it as bad as me. And it was just a kind of a – well, that's me, re, mainly why I started this podcast, to see – connect other people to be like, you're not the only one feeling yeah. like this. You don't got to be alone. So you had a Me Too movement. Yeah, yeah sort of yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, like you too, brother. Bro yes, Me Too. Yeah. I've been heartbroken. Yeah. Like, you had that Kiki, do you love me moment, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> and it's because yes. guys don't always yeah. express our emotions like that. And yeah. nah, I, that was like one of the most surprising things. Like a lot mm -hmm. of guys actually on my podcast are like, yeah, man, I, I've been heartbroken. Like yes. things have been so hard and all that. Yeah. And I remember one of the episodes, I learned something so important, and even in working with men and emotions and relationships, yeah. that even if the symptoms or impairments or the frequent crying, you don't mm -hmm. want to eat, kiki, just less, like you don't know why, yeah. you still feel though, it doesn't matter if you're a dude, and you know, and you're like, like Carlos, right, 6'3", like you, yeah. <laughs> you still feel, like you still got a heart. Yeah. So let me ask you this, Carlos, and I think also in listening, this is what I've taken from it, not mm -hmm. only as a therapist, but as a human being, as a woman, right? Right? Yeah. Tell me about the amazing aspect of date yourself. Dating oh, yourself. Yeah. That is so important. And there's been so many guests that have spoken on that. You had to, especially when I was yeah. like single. I was like, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a movie. <laughs> I'm going to get some ice cream like right after. Yes. I'm going to do all this. Yes. I'm going to go to the gym. Walk is like, extra. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> do all this. Like play yeah. some basketball, treat myself mm -hmm. to a good day. Like, yeah. oh man, it's like such an amazing feeling. Go get you the massage. There's yes. so many things. But... Yes. Put yourself on, right? Treat yourself right. Yeah. And I can't express that enough. Like one of the biggest things I work on, and I'm actually going to start doing a workshop very soon, is the eye before the we so mm -hmm. many people nowadays are getting yep. married which is beautiful the hair the makeup the wedding the yep. photos but how much money did you actually invest in premarital counseling yeah because at the end of the day the photos they're gonna mm -hmm. go away right the the once upon a time shine is gonna go ding yep. and then things are gonna come up right let's work on this one goal society let's work on bringing down that divorce rate right let's bring it down a notch so crazy. because first marriages have a 50 percent divorce rate fun fact second marriages for individuals that have already been divorced once are 80 percent divorce rate 
That's Damn, ridiculous. That's crazy. that's crazy. Did you know that? Yeah. That's in- I did not know yes. that. That's insane. Yes, exactly. So give us something that you took from doing your podcast that you're like, mm-hmm. whoa, I had no idea. I know you have this beautiful array of guests on your show. What's mm-hmm. something that you learned specifically, whether it's statistics or it's a fun fact, you were like, wow, my brain just grew like two times. Um, well, I had a woman that actually went through a divorce Mm -hmm. and she got married when she was young too. I think 21, 22, something like that. And she talked about just that, you know, you communication is really hard and that no matter what you're going through, you always got to speak about with your partner. And and when I was interviewing her, she Mm -hmm. was talking about getting an affair and I was assuming it was a man that was having an affair. Turns out it was her wow. the whole time. Okay. That kind of took okay. me for a turn. Yeah, because she was the one that was like the good one in in the in the marriage. The and good one, right? Yeah, because yeah. she was like doing the best that she can, and she just felt that so guilty when she got the affair and mm-hmm. was going through that. And it kind of made me realize, in a way, her husband kind of pushed her to get that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. this is speaking to something so important, right? So here's my train of thought that Carlos has been so awesome in doing his podcast. Mm-hmm. He's extremely transparent. Yeah. He tells his listeners like, yo, this is my own experience. Mm-hmm. This is for sharing. This is for learning, right? Yeah. This is what we've taken from this experience. Carlos, what is the one thing you have done in your life to really build on your character, but also build insight into what is needed oh, in a relationship? Yeah. What has helped you? Go ahead. Let them know. Put them on. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Uh, communication, always talking about yes. them about everything yes. that you need to do. Where did you growing. learn that? Where did you learn that? I learned that through, honestly, by going to therapy, too. Yes! Uh, Boom! Yeah. There you go, guys. What? What is it? Go ahead. Let them know. I got therapy. a therapist. And, yes. yeah, she's, like, awesome. She knows, like, me pretty yes. well. I haven't seen her in a while, so I'm going to go see her again in, like, in a couple weeks. So. Yeah, and just a disclaimer, <laughs> shout out, because ain't nobody here want to get sued, yeah. right? I am a licensed marriage family therapist. I deal with baby mama drama. I deal with relationships. I deal with couples, individuals, families, and children. And once again, I will never, ever, ever um, put the privacy of my clients. These are all absolute great guests that I have, people that I network with, people that are experts within their own fields. And Carlos is a testimony to therapy with his own therapist and his experience of how it's helped him. Yep. What what are the tools you have taken from going to therapy? What tools have you taken? Uh, just don't think about it too much and don't be so hard on myself. Because I used to be really, really hard. I'm like, oh man, I should have done this better. And just, mm. you know, things control what you can and don't worry about the things that you can't control. Yeah. What are some, uh, let's see, like some no-nos or some taboos before starting therapy that you can help others with? Because I know frequently oh. I hear like, bro, like, why are you going to go? Like, you know, we could just go get some food. This is some yeah. meatball. We could just dribble it out, yeah. right? What do you want to tell people about therapy and the misconceptions that there are? Um, That you don't have to be crazy to see one. Yes. Uh, if, if anything, you're healthier yeah. because you're getting the help up here. Therapy is literally like taking a shower. You've got to take one at least every day and if not, at least every other, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what did you initially, what were the reactions you got when people started finding out like, hey, yeah, by the way, I go, I go to a therapist? Um, they were kind of a little bit surprised. They were like, oh, no way. And then they kind of asked me more questions. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe I should go to one because they saw like how well I was doing. So I think they're just kind of thrown off. Like, oh, are you going through something? Or are you like, yeah, like depressed or anything? I was like, no, I'm actually good. And they was like, oh, maybe I should see one. So one of my friends, one of my really good friends started seeing one after I told her about it, too. So that's been helping her out, too. So. There you go. See, and that's a wonderful thing that because if we release that stigma from mental health or even just going and saying, hey, you know what? I need a little extra help with this. It amazes me that people would jump at the chance to help their friend with a broken arm and be like, yo, I'll take you to the ER. I'll help you go to the doctor, right? (laughs) But they will not say, 
hi, you just had a breakup. How about you go talk to a professional about that, right? Exactly. Instead of taking it out on the ice cream or the pizza or Pizza Hut is like on speed dial, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's all right to cope, but we also need other tools to help us, right? Mm -hmm. So, Carlos, before we go into round two, I want to reiterate, where can people find this amazing podcast? I know that personally, I go through the Apple uh, podcast oh, app yeah. and I subscribe. I hit likes all the way Thank across. <laughs> And I love going through the episodes because Carlos has something so special about it. He has something that it's an array of guests. I think yep. there's, there's, there's been people that straight up have been like in prison, like yeah. speaking about love and like just the hustle. And there's professionals on there. Yeah. There's also poets and writers writing about musicians, love. Musicians out here grinding in yep. LA. They writing a song about <laughs> like Kiki part two, right? <laughs> Doing all that. <laughs> all kinds of things. And Carlos, how do you how do you grow as somebody that hosts this? Because I know there's a podcast on every corner, but what yeah. can you recommend to those out there listening or watching when building one of these? How can you be a resource to others? Let them know. Go ahead, put them on. Just don't be afraid to put yourself on. I know that was one of my insecurities. Just like I hate the sound of my voice. I hate how I look, but just put it out there. Do you whatever your podcast is about, and you're gonna have fun. Just don't forget about that. Have fun. Be fun with your guests. They're going to like it, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, so put it out there. Subscribe. It's on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, wherever you get podcasts. Yes, at. and I will definitely post his portfolio right after so you guys can go <laughs> ahead and link up with him. Please feel free to reach out. What is the best way that people can connect with you, Carlos? Uh, you can send me an email or send me an IG message. Email is loverboylokes92 at gmail.com. You can find it on my Instagram link. Um, so What's yeah. What's your at on Instagram so they know? It's loverboylokes, all one word, loverboylokes. There you go. And it'll there be on my profile so you guys can just go ahead and click or send me a DM and I'll connect you with Carlos. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy to. So, as I promised, we're going to go ahead and do oh, some man. trivia. <laughs> and I love two. this part because I am a, I'm a super big hip-hop head. I love hip-hop. Hip-hop saved my life. Oh, yeah. So, we're going to do trivia on love and hip-hop, all right? And let's see if Carlos can get it. Let's see if he can make Jeez. it rain again, right? All right, everyone. We ready? We ready? Mm -hmm. Ready to go? Okay. Let's go. So, <clears throat> number one. I, and I don't have a voice, hence why I'm a therapist, okay? <laughs> so, could you love me on the bus? Could you love me on the bus? Who's that from? Oh, that uh, that is 21 questions. <laughs> yes. 50 cent. There we go. Yeah. yeah dollar, All right, dollar, one dollar more. Bill. Dollar, dollar bills, <laughs> y'all. All right, number two. Girl, are your eyes still green? Girl, are your eyes still girl, green? Girl, not girl. Girl. Girl, are your eyes still green? Uh, Come I'm on, guys. Say, help him out. If he doesn't know, help wow, him out. I'm Tell him. Say, go ahead. Go ahead. What Trust era me. is this in? Give me that era. Man, this is a while back. So just thinking about two thousand. Like it's it's early two thousands, I wanna okay. say for sure. It's super famous. If I give it away, you're gonna know it. It's one of my favorite artists for early sure. I could listen to sure. him okay, all day, so every him. day. Girl, are your eyes still green? Come on. So there's a couple I'm gonna more say seconds. Ludicrous. Um I'm gonna say So he said ludicrous. Er, no. It's wrong, it's common. Oh, what song? Com come Closer. Come Closer, okay. There you go. When he's outside the window yeah. and he's like, are your eyes still green? And then you have the little eyes. You know? <laughs> I love you. I gotta she's, watch that. She's um, hearing impaired. Oh, okay. No? I didn't, I've never seen this music video. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need to watch it. Sorry. All right, man, sorry. You gotta save up for your cup of coffee. Yeah. You gotta save up. What you got so far? You got four? Quattro. Quattro. He's got four dollar bills, y'all. Four dollar bills. <laughs> All right, let's see. Those would be 50s and 20s if I was a lawyer, but you got a therapist yeah, today. Yeah, so. it's all good. Because <laughs> we like there. to help people, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Next one. He used to call me on my cell phone. Oh, that's oh, easy. Dang, who's that? Who's that? Who's yeah. Bay is that? Oh, that's a Drake. That's a hotline bling bling. Hey, there we go. There you go. All right, so I will trade you for this five for your four. Oh, man, there we look go. at that. Dang, he's officially got two got five, five, everyone. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. If I would have known, the girl next door would have been you. Oh, I think I know this one too, but I forgot. This is it. also one of my favorites. Come on, guys, let Oof. him know. This is old school. Let's say, let's say Nate Dogg. No, so I, this is actually one of my favorite, favorite artists as uh -huh. well, all right? So 
So favorite mm -hmm. artists are Common, Lauren Hill, and this one. Oh, this okay. Artist. So he also has a song, 143. 143, uh... Come on, guys, and if you know it, let him know. Come on, my hip-hop heads. Go ahead, go ahead. 143. He also has a song, 143, so I'll repeat it. If I would have knew the girl next door would have been you. Come on. This Genu is one of the best albums out there. Say genuine? No. I don't know. Wah, I really wah, don't know. Wah. It's actually Music Soul Child. Oh, you From the album I Just Want to Sing. Is that not the best album, right? I Next to The Miseducation yeah. of Lauryn Hill. Like, those are tops, right? Yes! There See? You go. Boom! <laughs> there you go. All right. So, last one, Carlos, and this is it, okay? Okay. Oh, baby, you. Oh, you got what I, I need. Who is this? But you say he's just a friend. Biz but Marquee, you say yes. Just a friend. Just yes. a friend. What, there you go. So I'm going to give you one more dollar bill. Cause yeah. You got one more. Yeah. So what you got, Carlos? Go ahead. Let them know. Let them know what you got. Six Flash dollars. it. Dang. Six what you going to do with that? What you going to do? Uh, Probably get me a coffee and maybe a bagel. Yeah, and maybe you can buy a little bit of sugar, right? Because LA is so expensive. Yeah. All right, so in ending, guys, I just want to share a fun fact about me, right? As I mentioned, I am a mar a licensed marriage and family therapist. I do see couples. I see uh, individuals, families, mm -hmm. Latino family units. This is my, my absolute favorite. This is my niche. Yep. I love working with Latinos. Because I believe that when you see one person, you see the entire family up in there, right? You could only have, you know, the daughter in there, but you have la abuelita, you have la mamá, la comadre, you have everybody that's raised that child. It takes yeah. a village. So, fun fact about me, actually, is I am an 80s baby, and when mm -hmm. I was a little girl, I cried and screamed <laughs> and begged my mama to buy me this. So, I'm going to show it to both what? screens. But this is an original Bismarcky, right, tape. This is the original. I'm going to show you guys. Check That's that insane. out. Look, it even has like the ends heating up. The tape, right? Who has tapes anymore? Yeah. So I just Damn, wanted to share that, insane. right? <laughs> this is one of my most prized possessions. And it's not so much because of what it is, but because of what it represents. That I have mm -hmm. loved hip hop since I was a tot, since I was little, right? And you can mix cultures, right? So... And ending today, I want to thank you guys so much for viewing. As well, show Carlos some love. Go ahead, thank take you. a listen to the podcast. It's amazing. I love this as a resource. And once again, if you think this was beneficial in any way of sharing with people, mm -hmm. please do so. And we love you guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. All right, thank bye, you. guys.